So what we've got is post spawn. We've experienced a shad spawn this morning, and I just wanted to back off a little bit, put these Lorances to use, and actually see uh, what we're looking at, and see if these fish are getting back off on some of these points, uh, and just kind of hanging out for the day. That's where we're just going to graph around. Uh, that's why I really like to run two graphs. That way I can have a large map on one side and I can actually expand my down scan and side scan whenever I'm out looking. When you have that, the down scan is not as important as the side scan. When you have a side scan and you've got that wide screen, it just makes the fish air bladders so much easier to see whenever you're actually looking for them on, uh, on side scan. The down scan, you come across them, you're gonna get a good look at them, but on that side scan, not so much it's uh, a lot of times if you only use a smaller portion of your screen it just makes everything so much smaller and so much harder to see so good thing to keep in mind uh, this is the way i like to divide my screens is a full down scan and a full side scan and uh, it just allows me to have a little bit broader view and a little bit better definition that way i can see exactly what's going on out there and you can start to see right here we're obviously coming up and then the shadows that it cast on it, all these little drops and all these little stumps and and uh, pieces of wood and things that are out there that fish are going to hold on. That's what we're going to turn around and fish. I love the shortcut buttons on my Lorance graphs. The shortcut button allows me to manipulate my graph picture with just a touch or two of a button whenever I'm ready to go. I'm scanning here now. We were just idling and I want to run. And I'm going to run to the back of a creek where it's really shallow. I don't want to use my structure scan and side scan anymore because it won't register when I'm on pad. So I go straight to my pages button and I go over here to my shortcuts and I run a map, gives me two maps, and then it also gives me my chart. This will show, it's a through hole transducer, how deep it is even when I'm running in shallow water. So if I get into that four or five foot of water, I know to start watching and start ready to shut down. So that's a second shortcut that I really keep on hand for me. Uh, and then I can go right back to my, my structure scan, side scan, as soon as I get to where I'm going.